it is understood that the Walker Nightingale magazine fits into the HC Diana blaster such that the primary difference between the two is the design and placement of the notch for the magazine catch. That is aside the slightly thicker dimensional characteristics of the Diana magazine in both directions, these two directions. So in order to transfer this notch onto the Nightingale magazine, we first have, first have to understand the rationale behind how I'll go about doing this. First, the key idea we want to achieve is that the dart remains aligned to the flywheel primarily, pri primarily and then to the solenoid pusher secondarily. Since dart form the primary comparison or the datum between the two magazines, we have to utilize we can utilize darts. So for these darts that are chosen, we want firm, you want the firmer of the lot. I'll go by. Since we want to measure, since there is a height difference between the two magazines and that the measurement is between here, we want to use have the darts. It's it's a little difficult to explain, but you hopefully you understand. I will explain it along the way. So, since darts are the datum, we want to find have the darts on the same plane as the magazine's bottom. The height difference between two, these two magazines on this area is negligible since we'll be measuring it from this axis. So any height difference will only occur if we measure from this axis. So first, I'll have darts in this orientation. Push the dart down until it barely touches the table. one the next dot two now the dots the magazines are placed in this annotation because I want to have the closest measurement between the two so double check thing rubbing slightly rubbing slightly rubbing next I'm going to use a angle ruler set it and set it to 90 degrees you can see it, you can use a set square a right angle and then I will use so since the datum point for this axis is set by the table the plane the x the datum point for this axis can be utilized can be set with the magazine. Hopefully these two magazines are parallel. Okay. We assume that they are parallel. So this axis, the data for this axis can be set by allowing the ruler to ride along it. And then what about this axis? The magic happens when you set and you push And now, magically, these two axes are set. These two, and along with this axis, is set. So, once you have this properly positioned, you carefully clamp the magazine, turn it around, and from this viewing axis, Measure the difference between the lower edge, opening edge, and the highest point.
29.4 the difference between this plane and this point so with this measurement you can then also draw in model this notch the dimension of this notch into this and place it exactly where it is intended and apparently the height of this notch it's a little tall when I compare it with the magazine release release so apparently it's too tall such that it can shuffle or wobble and that the bump stop is actually the uh, point whereby you whereby it prevents that wobble so I'll use this measurement which is about which is seven, which is seven bring these measurements into the CAD program to in order for me to exactly place this onto the Navigator magazine such that the darts remain aligned with the flywheel. Right